Hey everyone, welcome to my very first client tutorial. Um, I'm so excited that I got to film this and yeah, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. Um, so I started with her brows and I took that, that shade Soft Brown from the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. Um, she already has amazing brows so I just filled in the tail of the brow darker and just feathered a little bit of product through the front of her brows. Um, and then basically, yeah, I just went and carved them out with some concealer and I mean you can use any concealer for this But yeah, this is just how you get your brows to look nice and sharp And then I'm going to take that concealer all over the lid and act as a primer for our eyeshadows Now I'm just setting that concealer down with a translucent powder before going in with eyeshadow And today I'm taking the beautiful modern renaissance palette um, so I'm starting with that shade Burnt Orange, and this is just going to be our transition colour. Basically, my beautiful model Shanae said that she loves oranges and pinks on her eyes, so I thought we'd go orange. So now I'm going in with an even deeper orange shade called Realga, and I'm taking this on a Morphe M433, and I'm just going to pack a lot of that colour on the outer V, and then just blend that out and just repeat those steps until I'm happy with that colour payoff. Now I'm taking Cypress Umber and I'm doing pretty much the exact same thing. So I'm just packing on all the colour onto the outer V, but I'm not going to take this as high. Um, basically, yeah, as you get darker, you don't want to take it as high. That will just look messy and like you've been punched in the face. So, um, yeah, we're just going to blend this out and then we are going to add some black. And I am taking the colour Black Truffle from the Huda Beauty palette. And first I just kind of put that on with a um, pencil brush and really close to the lash line and then went back to my fluffy brush and blended that all out. So now I'm taking some concealer and a detail brush and I'm just going to start to cut her crease. I'm just going to do a half cut crease today and yeah, basically as we get closer to that dark outer corner, I just want to make sure that not too much concealer is going there because we want everything to look beautiful and blended. But we're just prepping for our pigment. Um, today I'm using the Makeup Geek Sparklet in Satellite and first I just placed some glitter glue all over that concealer and then went in with the sparkler. So after I've placed that sparkler down, I like to go back in with my fluffy brush and kind of put a colour there that blends everything in. But for this, I just went back into that cypress umber and yeah, just kept on patting it down until everything looked nice and blended. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Basically, my camera stopped recording after this, so you guys missed out on winged liner and lashes. But I will go ahead and show you what it looked like when we had done that. So this is what it looks like with winged liner and lashes. And I used the beautiful, fluffy, intoxicating lashes from Flutter Lashes. Um, I'm jumping straight into her primer now and I used the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. Uh, basically, Sinead told me that she had skin more on the dry side, so that's why we used this primer. And then for foundation, I decided to mix, so I used the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Max Studio Fix, and I really did love the finish that it gave. Then I'm just going to buff this all in with a Morphe G2 brush. <laughs> So because I want her brows to be nice and defined, I'm taking some of that foundation on a concealer brush and I'm just going to carve out the top of her brows and then I will go ahead and blend that all out with that same foundation brush. So 
So for concealer today I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to place that under her eyes and also on the high points of her face and then I'm going to blend that all out with a beauty blender and then also you'll see when I get close to her wing um, I go back in with my concealer brush and I just go and clean up that wing just so it's nice and sharp but yeah that's a good little trick Now to set the face I'm using the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm first just going to press that in to her under eye area and then I'm going to also take it on a big fluffy brush and set the rest of her face. Now I'm just taking this first shade here from the Shade and Light palette and I'm just going to start to chisel out her cheekbones. So for bronzer, I'm taking this beautiful warm shade from Milani. This is a baked bronzer in the shade Soleil. And I just kind of layered that slightly above where we placed that contour. Um, and then I'm going in with blush and I'm using the NYX Ombre Blush in Strictly Chic. And I'm just placing that slightly higher again and also on the apples of her cheeks. To highlight today I'm taking this peachy shade from the Sleek Makeup Solstice palette um, and I'm just placing that on the tops of her cheekbones, just a little bit above her brow and also her nose and Cupid's bow but this is a really stunning highlight and it is really affordable also. So to finish off her eyes I'm first going in with Burnt Orange and I'm just going to smoke this out under her lash line and then uh, getting closer to her lash line I will take Cypress Umber on a flat definer brush and then also I will just smudge both of those together with the Real Gar. And then I'm going to add a layer of mascara and we are done with the eyes. Now to line her lips, I'm using the LA Girl Lip Liner and I think the shade is natural but I will leave everything in the description box below anyway and then I'm going to use Dose of Colours in the shade Truffle. Um, then I'm going to spritz her face, first with MAC Fix Plus because she's more on the dry side and then set everything with Gerard Cosmetics Lay All Day Setting Spray. But basically yeah, this is the finished look, I hope you really enjoyed this, I had so much fun doing a client tutorial and I will definitely do more. So please comment down below, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already.